some Chicago streets are in bad shape. That's not a surprise, but did you know they date back to the Depression era? Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli travels to the southwest side for a trip back in time. It's not pretty. We rode along with Alderman Matt O'Shea, past one muddy mess after another in his 19th ward. There's 75 miles of unimproved street, residential streets still in the city of Chicago. I've got just short of eight miles. The streets date back to the 30s, when the Federal Works Project Administration, or WPA, put Americans to work on infrastructure projects during the Great Depression. These simple roads were built without engineered sidewalks, gutters, or drainage. And some 80 years later, their dirt and gravel edges easily flood and turn to thick mud. Even a heavy SUV can create those large ruts. Mud, bedlam, it's not good. Mary Freeman's lived on a WPA street for 34 years. I had a workman have his van get stuck here. I mean, he had to be towed out. We can't seem to get a street, no curbs. You're digging out what was the existing road. O'Shea took us to the last WPA street he was able to upgrade in 2008. Since then, budget shortfalls forced the city to cancel its WPA improvement program. Patching and top coating are about the best he can manage for now. Anything we do is, is essentially a Band-Aid. You do the math. In the city of Chicago, there are roughly 500 WPA blocks, and the cost to upgrade just one of them is between $300,000 and $500,000. The ward has plans and cost estimates ready for execution, but efforts in council to sell bonds and finance improvements citywide have hit roadblocks, leaving residents frustrated. But I've paid for gravel a number of times. Um, it's not a good deal. In the 19th Ward, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. The last effort to finance a program to upgrade WPA streets was last fall in the city council, but it went nowhere.